In probability theory and statistics, the Poisson distribution, named after French mathematician Simeon Denis Poisson, is a discrete probability distribution that expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time in, or space. If these events occur with a known average rate and independently of the time since the last event, the Poisson distribution can also be used for the number of events in other specified intervals such as distance, area or volume. For instance, an individual keeping track of the amount of mail they receive each day may notice that they receive an average number of four letters per day. If receiving any particular piece of mail doesn't affect the arrival times of future pieces of mail, i.e., if pieces of mail from a wide range of sources arrive independently of one another, then a reasonable assumption is that the number of pieces of mail received per day obeys a Poisson distribution. Other examples that may follow a Poisson the number of phone calls received by a call center per hour, the number of decay events per second from a radioactive source, or the number of pedicabs in queue in a particular street in a given hour of a day. History The distribution was first introduced by Simeon Denis Poisson and published together with his probability theory. In 1837 in his work Recherches sur la probabilité des jugements en matière criminelle et en matière civile, the work theorized about the number of wrongful convictions in a given country by focusing on certain random variables in that count. Among other things, the number of discrete occurrences that take place during a time interval of given length. The result had been given previously by Abraham de Moivre in De Mentura Sortis Seu, De Probabilitate Eventuum in Luda Seasu Fortua Dependenti Biz, in Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society. 219. This makes it an example of Stigler's law and it has prompted some authors to argue that the Poisson distribution should bear the name of de Moivre. A practical application of this distribution was made by Ladislaus Borkovich in 1898 when he was given the task of investigating the number of soldiers in the Prussian army killed accidentally by horse kicks. This experiment introduced the Poisson distribution to the field of reliability engineering. Definition. A discrete random variable x is said to have a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda greater than 0, if for k equals 0, 1, 2. The probability mass function of x is given by, where e is Euler's number, k is the factorial of k. The positive real number lambda is equal to the expected value of x and also to its variance. The Poisson distribution can be applied to systems with a large number of possible events, each of which is rare. How many such events will occur during a fixed time interval, under the right circumstances? This is a random number with a Poisson distribution. The conventional definition of the Poisson distribution contains two terms that can easily overflow on computers, lambda k and k. The fraction of lambda k to k can also produce a rounding error which is very large compared to e minus lambda and therefore give an erroneous result. For numerical stability the Poisson probability mass function should therefore be evaluated as which is mathematically equivalent but numerically stable. The natural logarithm of the gamma function can be obtained using the L gamma function in the C standard library or the gamma L function in MATLAB or SIPI properties mean the expected value and variance of the Poisson distributed random variable are both equal to lambda. The coefficient of variation is, while the index of dispersion is 1. The mean absolute deviation about the mean is, the mode of a Poisson distributed random variable with non-integer lambda is equal to, which is the largest integer less than or equal to lambda. This is also written as flaw. When lambda is a positive integer, the modes are lambda and lambda minus 1. All of the cumulants of the Poisson distribution are equal to the expected value lambda. The nth factorial moment of the Poisson distribution is lambda n. 
The expected value of a Poisson process is sometimes decomposed into the product of intensity and exposure. Median bounds for the median of the distribution are known in a sharp. Higher moments The higher moments mk of the Poisson distribution about the origin are touched polynomials in lambda, where the braces denote Stirling numbers of the second kind. The coefficients of the polynomials have a combinatorial meaning. In fact, when the expected value of the Poisson distribution is 1, then Dobashi's formula says that the nth moment equals the number of partitions of a set of size n, sums of Poisson distributed random variables, if are independent, and, then, a converse is Rakov's theorem, which says that if the sum of two independent random variables is Poisson distributed, then so is each of those two independent random variables. Other properties The Poisson distributions are infinitely divisible probability distributions. The directed callback Liebler divergence of poise from poise is given by bounds for the tail probabilities of a Poisson random variable can be derived using a Chernoff bound argument. Recurrence relation Poisson races let them be independent random variables, with then we have that the upper bound is proved using a standard Chernoff bound. The lower bound can be proved by noting that is the probability that where, which is lower bounded by where is relative entropy. Further noting that, and computing a lower bound on the unconditional probability gives the result. More details can be found in the appendix of related distributions. If and are independent, then the difference follows a skelum distribution. If and are independent, then the distribution of conditional on is a binomial distribution. Specifically, given, more generally, if x1, x2, xn are independent Poisson random variables with parameters λ1, λ2, λ n, then given, in fact, if and the distribution of conditional on x equals k is a binomial distribution, then the distribution of y follows a Poisson distribution. In fact, if conditional on x equals k follows a multinomial distribution, then each follows an independent Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution can be derived as a limiting case to the binomial distribution as the number of trials goes to infinity and the expected number of successes remains fixed. See law of rare events below. Therefore, it can be used as an approximation of the binomial distribution if n is sufficiently large and p is sufficiently small. There is a rule of thumb stating that the Poisson distribution is a good approximation of the binomial distribution if n is at least 20 and p is smaller than or equal to 0.05, and an excellent approximation if n 100 and n p 10. The Poisson distribution is a special case of discrete compound Poisson distribution with only a parameter. The discrete compound Poisson distribution can be deduced from the limiting distribution of univariate multinomial distribution. It is also a special case of a compound Poisson distribution. For sufficiently large values of lambda, the normal distribution with mean lambda invariance lambda is an excellent approximation to the Poisson distribution. If lambda is greater than about 10, then the normal distribution is a good approximation if an appropriate continuity correction is performed, i.e., p, where x is a non-negative integer, is replaced by p. Variance stabilizing transformation. Under this transformation, the convergence to normality is far faster than the untransformed variable. Other, slightly more complicated, variance stabilizing transformations are available, one of which is Anscombe transform. See data transformation for more general uses of transformations. If for every t greater than 0 the number of arrivals in the time interval 0 t follows the Poisson distribution with mean lambda t, then the sequence of inter-arrival times are independent and identically distributed exponential random variables having mean 1, lambda. The cumulative distribution functions of the Poisson and chi-square distributions are related in the following ways, and occurrence. Applications of the Poisson distribution can be found in many fields related to counting. 
Telecommunication example. Telephone calls arriving in a system. Astronomy example. Photons arriving at a telescope. Biology example. The number of mutations on a strand of DNA per unit length. Management example. Customers arriving at a counter or call center. Civil engineering example. Cars arriving at a traffic light. Finance and insurance example. Number of losses. Claims occurring in a given period of time. Earthquake seismology example. An asymptotic Poisson model of seismic risk for large earthquakes. Radioactivity example. Number of decays in a given time interval in a radioactive sample. The Poisson distribution arises in connection with Poisson processes. It applies to various phenomena of discrete properties whenever the probability of the phenomenon happening is constant in time or space. Examples of events that may be modeled as a Poisson distribution include the number of soldiers killed by horse kicks each year in each corps in the Prussian cavalry. This example was made famous by a book of Ladislaus Josephovich Bortkovich. The number of yeast cells used when brewing Guinness beer. This example was made famous by William Seeley Gossett. The number of phone calls arriving at a call center within a minute. This example was made famous by A.K. Erlang. Internet traffic. The number of goals in sports involving two competing teams. The number of deaths per year in a given age group. The number of jumps in a stock price in a given time interval. Under an assumption of homogeneity, the number of times a web server is accessed per minute. The number of mutations in a given stretch of DNA after a certain amount of radiation. The proportion of cells that will be infected at a given multiplicity of infection. The arrival of photons on a pixel circuit at a given illumination and over a given time period. The targeting of E-1 flying bombs on London during World War II investigated by R. D. Clark in 1946. Gallagher in 1976 showed that the counts of prime numbers in short intervals obey a Poisson distribution provided a certain version of an unproved conjecture of Hardy and Littlewood is true. Law of rare events The rate of an event is related to the probability of an event occurring in some small sub-interval. In the case of the Poisson distribution, one assumes that there exists a small enough sub-interval for which the probability of an event occurring twice is negligible. With this assumption one can derive the Poisson distribution from the binomial one. Given only the information of expected number of total events in the whole interval, let this total number be. Divide the whole interval into subintervals of equal size, such that greater than. This means that the expected number of events in an interval for each is equal to. Now we assume that the occurrence of an event in the whole interval can be seen as a Bernoulli trial, where the trial corresponds to looking whether an event happens at the subinterval with probability. The expected number of total events in such trials would be the expected number of total events in the whole interval. Hence for each subdivision of the interval we have approximated the occurrence of the event as a Bernoulli process of the form. As we have noted before we want to consider only very small sub-intervals. Therefore, we take the limit as goes to infinity. In this case the binomial distribution converges to what is known as the Poisson distribution by the Poisson limit theorem. In several of the above examples, such as the number of mutations in a given sequence of DNA, the events being counted are actually the outcomes of discrete trials and would more precisely be modeled using the binomial distribution, that is in such cases n is very large and p is very small, then the distribution may be approximated by the less cumbersome Poisson distribution. This approximation is sometimes known as the law of rare events. Since each of the n individual Bernoulli events rarely occurs, 
The name may be misleading because the total count of success events in a Poisson process need not be rare if the parameter Napa is not small. For example, the number of telephone calls to a busy switchboard in one hour follows a Poisson distribution with the events appearing frequent to the operator, but they are rare from the point of view of the average member of the population who is very unlikely to make a call to that switchboard in that hour. The word law is sometimes used as a synonym of probability distribution, and convergence in law means convergence in distribution. Accordingly, the Poisson distribution is sometimes called the law of small numbers because it is the probability distribution of the number of occurrences of an event that happens rarely but has very many opportunities to happen. The Law of Small Numbers is a book by Ladislaus Bortkowicz about the Poisson distribution, published in 1898. Poisson point process The Poisson distribution arises as the number of points of a Poisson point process located in some finite region. More specifically, if D is some region space, for example Euclidean space R carat D, for which D, the area, volume or, more generally, the Lebesgue measure of the region is finite, and if n denotes the number of points in D, then other applications in science in a Poisson process. The number of observed occurrences fluctuates about its mean lambda with a standard deviation. These fluctuations are denoted as Poisson noise or as shot noise. The correlation of the mean and standard deviation in counting independent discrete occurrences is useful scientifically. By monitoring how the fluctuations vary with the mean signal, one can estimate the contribution of a single occurrence, even if that contribution is too small to be detected directly. For example, the charge E on an electron can be estimated by correlating the magnitude of an electric current with its shot noise. If n electrons pass a point in a given time t on the average, the mean current is, since the current fluctuations should be of the order, the charge can be estimated from the ratio. An everyday example is the graininess that appears as photographs or enlarged. The graininess is due to Poisson fluctuations in the number of reduced silver grains, not to the individual grains themselves. By correlating the graininess with the degree of enlargement, one can estimate the contribution of an individual grain. In causal set theory the discrete elements of space-time follow a Poisson distribution in the volume, generating Poisson distributed random variables. A simple algorithm to generate random Poisson distributed numbers has been given by Nath. Algorithm Poisson random number, Anish. Let L e minus lambda, k0 and p1, do, k k plus 1, generate uniform random number u in, 0, 1, and let p, p times u, while p greater than L, return k minus 1. While simple, the complexity is linear in the returned value k, which is lambda on average. There are many other algorithms to overcome this. Some are given in Arons and Dieter, see references below. Also, for large values of lambda, there may be numerical stability issues because of the term E minus lambda. This could be solved by a slight change to allow lambda to be added into the calculation gradually. Algorithm Poisson random number, Anish. Let lambda left lambda, k0 and p1, do, k k plus 1. Generate uniform random number u in and let p p times u. If p less than e and lambda left greater than zero. If lambda left greater than step. p p times s step lambda left lambda left step else. p p times e lambda left lambda left minus one while p greater than one. Return k minus one. The choice of step depends on the threshold of overflow. For double precision floating point format, the threshold is near E700, so 500 shall be a safe step. Other solutions for large values of lambda include rejection sampling and using Gaussian approximation. Inverse transform sampling is simple and efficient for small values of lambda, and requires only one uniform random number u per sample. Cumulative probabilities are examined in turn until one exceeds u. Algorithm Poisson generator based upon the inversion by sequential search. 
Anish. Let x0, p minus lambda, sp, generate uniform random number u in, 0, 1, while u greater than s2, x x plus 1, p p asterisk lambda, x, s s plus p, return x. This algorithm requires expected time proportional to lambda as lambda infinity.